you stay in your homes. Avoid all contact. The sheriff's office is urging people to stay in their homes right now. What if you were told you couldn't go outside? How would this affect your mind and body? Could staying inside actually benefit you? This is What If, and here's what would happen if you stopped going outside. Is there anybody here? There is no denying the psychological and physical benefits of being outdoors, connecting with nature and surrounding yourself with friends and family. Going outside can improve all aspects of your life. Your immune system, blood pressure and stress levels it can also improve your memory and overall mental well-being. It is important to spend time in nature, soak up the sun and absorb some of that essential vitamin D. So we can all agree, let's get outside. President Trump has declared a national emergency. But what if you were told you had to stay inside? Adjusting to this new lifestyle shouldn't be too hard, considering the average American spends 87% of their time indoors. Only 7% of that time is outside, and the other 6% is in the car or other forms of transportation. Seeking shelter is a basic human need, and we now live in a society that encourages us to stay inside. Major grocery stores can deliver fresh fruits and veggies right to your door. You can pretty much get anything you need shipped on Amazon. Netflix, Hulu, and YouTube have got you covered for entertainment and social media has replaced a lot of our face-to-face -face human interactions. But what if you stopped going outside? What would that actually look like? This could go in many directions, some not so good. Let's start with your personal hygiene. You can wake up in the morning and you don't have to be anywhere, so is a shower really necessary? I'll brush my teeth later. These clothes I've been wearing the last few days aren't that dirty. Laziness. You could find yourself lying on the couch all day, binge watching all 201 episodes of The Office. No, God, please, no, no, no. You're alone with your thoughts while constantly checking social media sends you into a downward spiral of envy, FOMO, fear of missing out, depression, isolation, and loneliness. Loneliness is the one thing you need to be careful with because of the physical and mental health consequences. If this leads to high stress levels, it can increase your chances of heart disease and stroke. Loneliness can also lead to drug and alcohol abuse. Staying indoors and out of the sun would mean that you're not getting an essential nutrient, vitamin D. Research suggests that vitamin D can help prevent cancer, heart disease, and depression. Without the sun, you could suffer decreased mineralization of your bones, which can lead to osteoporosis and other diseases. When inside, you spend more time sitting, which is linked to an increase in risk for type 2 diabetes. To avoid this, you would need to find a way to exercise indoors either through workout videos, machines, or simple exercises. Okay, it's not all that bad. And it's important to point out that solitude and loneliness are different. Solitude can be liberating and often helps people live in peace, connect with themselves or a higher power. It is said that personal connection to self can actually defeat any feelings of loneliness. Research shows that solitude can spark your creativity your brain has a chance to wander and explore in a way that isn't possible when other people are around. It can also help you build mental strength and make you more productive. <laughs> yeah. In our increasingly electronic world, we are spending more and more time indoors. This means we're missing out on the wonders of the outside world. We spend so much time on the internet and social media. We are better connected, but at the same time, we are shockingly disconnected. At the most basic human level, we crave interaction with others and nature. So it's important to understand and acknowledge the few benefits of not going outside in self-isolation. In today's integrated world, we are continually facing potential threats from viruses and worldwide pandemics. And we have to accept that at some level, this scenario could actually play out in society. 
because what would happen if the government decided to put us all in lockdown? Well, that's a story for another What If.